Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover, the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today we're going to show you how to open or shuck an oyster. It could be a very good skill to have in a survival situation if you are anywhere near anything that uh, has oysters on it or, or clams. Could be a sewer outlet, could be just a river, a stream, creek, uh, canal, doesn't make no difference. Uh, the only thing is, if you get oysters after SH, SH is the TF, then you're going to have to cook them, boil them or whatever. And in fact, an easy way to do this, if you just want food and you're not interested in having fried oysters or having raw oysters, you can actually steam an oyster and it will open somewhat and then you can just get in there with a knife and cut it out. And I do believe that's how the Native Americans did. But for us, we are going to open them the traditional way. First off, you are going to need a glove. A leather glove will do because that's all daddy had when I was growing up. They didn't have these ripstop gloves. Uh, this is actually for, I guess, filleting fish or shucking oysters and it doesn't, it will not keep you from cutting or stabbing yourself, but it sure helps a lot. It'll hold, you know, unless you do something really ridiculous, you ain't going to get cut. Oh, there's what it looks like. And here is what an oyster looks like. Now this is two oysters stuck together. It's called a double. This, uh, oysters are actually known as hinges. That is the hinge. And this is the mouth. Oyster opens like that. It don't open much. It just got a little, little water get in. Now this is an oyster knife. They are things that they sell at the store that say oyster knife on them. I have no idea what that is. This needs to come from a, some kind of fishing supply place. Uh, it's more like a screwdriver than a knife. And in fact, if you don't have this and you got open oysters, use a screwdriver. Do not use a knife. You will cut your hand off. And Because this is just really, really thick. And uh, mine isn't even particularly sharp. You know, everybody complains about how dull my oyster knife is. But anyways, we're going to stick this oyster knife in that hinge. And yeah, I guess you can see that. I hope you can see it. See where the hinge is right there? And then we're just going to jiggle it back and forth with a little bit of effort. See, I've got an oyster bench here. Now, once I've popped that, I don't know if you can see that. Now you might could. Okay, see it's separated. Now you're going to take whichever side you want to work on. It looks like you can get to that eye. Now I'm going to show you what the eye is. We're going to go around that eye and cut the oyster loose from the top shell. Now I don't, I, you're supposed to hold it like this. I, everybody I watch do it. That's the way they hold it. So I'm going to show you that. Now there's oyster on a half shell. Now we just got to relieve it from the from the shell by cutting the bottom out. You notice I, that, and that always happens, and everybody I know that shucks oysters throws that away, but that's a piece of meat right there. And normally, if I was saving these oysters for me, i just throw that meat in there, <laughs> but this is going to my mama, and she does not like a little piece of muscle in there separate. And see, that one there came out pretty clean, but I always get that little bit off anyway. Now, Told you about the knife, told you about the glove. This also is important. These things, when you get them, are covered with mud, covered with grit, pieces of sand, shell, whatever. And this one's been scrubbed, and all these have been sprayed off. But if you do not scrub this, you're going to get a mouthful of grit. Dirt, sand, chunks of shell, don't make no difference. This is a sustenance and covering where we tell you we're going to show you how to enjoy the current apocalypse. Well, if you don't scrub that oyster and you shuck it and you got a mouthful of dirt, you'll survive, but you won't necessarily enjoy it. 